chicos y chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna and welcome back to my channel as today I am going to talk about why I think it's a terrible idea for you guys to purchase a home with 0% down payment. Once again, guys, thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video. And it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button, because by hitting that like button, you guys are gonna help this video to get out there so then more people can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And now that we have that out of the way, well, there's a few people out there that can qualify with a 0% down payment loan. And if you guys are one of them, well, there's only a handful of people that can qualify for a 0% down payment loan. If you're one of those people, get yourself and your family into that home because that's an opportunity that you can't miss. But remember, there's only a handful of people that can qualify for that loan. And if you guys are one of those, these are my thoughts. Why? I think it's a terrible idea for you guys to do it. The biggest issue that I would have is that you guys are going to have to pay for PMI, which stands for Private Mortgage Insurance. So now you may ask, Ricardo, what is PMI? Well, it's basically an additional fee that you guys are going to have to pay until you have 20% equity into your loan. By the way, be careful because my mom, and yes, this is something where I need to plug it in. I love you, mom. Because I noticed my mom kept getting charged PMI even after she paid up to 80% of her loan amount. And that meant that I had to call for them to start charging my mom. So who knows? How much longer they would have kept charging her if I would have never made that call. Anyways, back to what PMI is. Basically, you guys are paying to protect the mortgage lender in case if you guys can't pay them. Now, another red flag in my eyes. If you guys take an FHA loan, that PMI fee will be there for the whole life of the loan. My whole life sucks! Ouch! Paying PMI for 30 years? And from my understanding, the only way for you to get rid of that PMI with an FHA loan, there's only two options. That is pay it off or refinance. For you guys not to have PMI on an FHA loan. On a conventional loan, you will only pay PMI until you reach 20% equity. Now, like my mom, who knows how much longer she would have kept paying that PMI. So make sure you keep an eye on all your deals so you don't have to overpay when you don't have to. Keep your eye on the ball. Go. <laughs> now, you may ask, Ricardo, one option on how I cannot have PMI. Well, you might not like this. You will have to shop around for a lower price home where you can afford putting down 20% down payment. No, but I don't like that at all. <laughs> now, just remember, this is just an idea, so don't kill the messenger. But I know all of you guys want to have the big baller home. Now, for those of you guys that don't care if you have to pay the PMI fee because you want to get that dream home of yours. Don't care. Still don't care. I don't care. I don't. Well, here are some ideas in case if you were to move forward with that deal, how much would that PMI fees would be? Now, depending on your loan, your PMI fees are gonna fluctuate, but traditionally, I see them at half a point and as high as 1.75, but I have heard they've been even higher. Now remember, this is just for you guys to get some education ideas, and you guys don't have to be throwing a dart out in the dark. This might just give you a little bit more line and a better guesstimate where your PMI's fees could be at. That's where the magic happens. If you guys found a $200,000 home, now, 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 I know for all of you guys in California and New York are going, where are those prices? 
hit the bench. And for those of you guys that can find a $200,000 home, let's continue learning from this. And once again, we have to start that you're one of the very few that can qualify for a 0% down payment. Oh, and by the way, there is a prepaid as well as a monthly PMI, but I like to keep my videos short and sweet. That's the way I am. So I am going to use the PMI with the monthly fee. So your loan is gonna be a 200,000 base loan amount. Since you are putting 0% down payment, you are going to multiply $200,000 time 0 0.01, because once again, I'm trying to stay right in the middle of the sweet spot on hopefully what you guys will be qualifying for. That would mean that you would have a $2,000 fee a year. Only $2,000. We're gonna divide that times 12 because that's how many months you have to pay a year. That will leave you with an additional fee of $166 with 66 cents every month that you have to pay additionally from your mortgage, insurance, taxes, and who knows what other fees could be added in there. You will have to pay $166 until you guys have 20% of equity into your property, or you sell the property, or you refinance. Now, I don't really wanna go down this rabbit hole because it could go a million different ways. And what I mean by that, well, it could take you months or possibly years for you guys to reach down to pay down an 80% into your loan depending how much extra you can pay every month into your loan. Or you guys can always hit the jackpot into the Las Vegas casino to speediate that payment process. Or it could sadly, this could go south and you guys are not being able to pay your full mortgage payment every month, every so often, which could set you back months or years behind. If you guys don't make your payments every month for what you're supposed to pay for. Once again, guys, this is just for more ideas. If you guys are quick on paying off your PMI, but it roughly took you about three years to reach that 20% equity, that would roughly will cost you an additional $6,000 that you guys can be enjoying it on a vacation. Now, let's hope that it's not gonna take you longer than three years because the PMI $6,000 fee will continue growing every day until you reach the 20% equity. Now, another reason why I think it's a terrible idea for you guys to take on a 0% down payment, what happens if the property values go down? You will definitely have zero equity into your property. What about if you guys need to refinance or sell? then most likely you guys will not be able to do neither of them because most likely you guys are gonna be losing money. No! And come on guys, you guys are way smarter than that, right? And now that I got you guys thinking, would you do a 0% down payment loan?